What's up guys, it's Sam here and I wanted to talk about modafinil. Um, super interesting compound that I have been uh, experiencing with, um, experimenting with for uh, a number of years now that I don't think I've talked about yet. Um, so stay tuned to find out about that experience and some of the fucking awesome cool stuff that you can, uh, that ha has effect on, that's all backed up by data. But before we do that, make sure you press that subscribe button and just gently, gently just tap that bell notification so YouTube notifies you every time I post a video. All right. Now, with that being said, let's get into the video modafinil. Um, think of like this is how I always explain it. It's kind of think of like Adderall, but without the uh, effect of getting um, high from it. So. Modafinil, or, or from uh, Adderall, like you, if you take too much of it, you get high and just like jittery and whatnot, which is fine. Like I love, uh, oh, I love Adderall. I used to have a prescription. Uh, I think it was 30, 30 or sixty milligrams per day. Probably thirty. Sixty seems high. I probably no, actually no. I think it was sixty milligrams per day. Yeah, sixty milligrams per day. Um, anyway, Modafinil. Uh, in the United States, it's it's prescription drug, so you need a prescription for this, if uh, if you know what I mean. Um, there are other ways of doing that, um, but it is not legal, so I don't recommend it. You should not do that. And uh, but there are plenty of other ways to do it, and um, a lot of other countries because of the very low side effects associated with modafinil, the uh, a lot of other countries, it's OTC, which is just over the counter. Um, but here in the United States and Canada and probably Great Britain, um, it is, I don't know about Great Britain, but Canada and the U.S., it's a prescription drug uh, last time I checked. Now, my experience with it, so I was studying for the one of the CFA level uh, exams. Um, CFA is a Chartered Financial Analyst. And so if you look at your, like, 401k or 403b, the person, and you look at the prospectus of whoever, whatever funds you invest in, one of the those people probably has their CFA um, designation. Uh, while I was in getting my MBA, <coughs> and it was becoming more challenging to get Adderall, so, so I decided to get um, some Modafinil. Of course, it was a doctor prescribed Modafinil. And um, if you guys have any questions about that, reach out to me on Instagram. It'll be the link in the description, and I'm happy to help out with that. Um, so, or any questions that is, I can't. This is not. I do not endorse anybody doing anything that they shouldn't do or that is illegal. You need a doctor's prescription for this shit. Okay. Um, so I was taking my doctor prescribed modafinil. Um, I think I had a prescription for probably 200 milligrams a day, and I was doing somewhere in the neighborhood of two to 600 a day, along with um, uh, some Adderall that I had that was also prescribed. So at first it was finding that I ran out of Adderall, still studying just nonstop, it was all day. I had quit the job, so I was just go, I was studying literally from the moment I woke up until the moment I went to bed, and I would stop briefly to take a shit and shower, but I would literally eat while I was studying. Everything else was studying. My phone would just get shut off and put away for the entire day. Um, and that went on for a couple weeks. It would be something, and, and like, it sounds absolutely crazy, but like you could ask my roommates. It was not, they, you couldn't fucking just leave me alone. I, don't talk to me. Don't do anything because I'm not talking to you. I have fucking shit to focus on and that's literally all I was doing. And so obviously that was great from that standpoint. The thing I noticed after probably a week or two was that my digestion... It, so I'm going to say it's my digestion potentially because of the modafinil. However, it could have easily been from my diet. Uh, I have a way better diet today than I did uh, back then. But you notice when you would take a shit that it would just fucking, oh my God, it would like burn your eyeballs. It was that bad. Um, it was really bad. I remember um, at one, this is at a different point, but I was, I went to the, I was in my office 
so I was still working at this point. I was in my office, I farted, and there was somebody in the office next door. So one of his counterparts walked by. He didn't know I was there because he was just there for the day uh, doing some work. And went into the office and he was like, I could hear him talking. He was like, what is that smell? Like, that's how bad it was. And he, at this point, like, you walk into the office and you go over to the computers. This was like 15 feet away. And he was like, what is that smell? But it was a similar idea where you knew something was up and I wasn't sure what it was. Um, so I had cut back on the modafinil to probably 100 or 50 but the 50 hour, it would be like maybe 200 throughout the day, but the actual dosing would be like 50 milligrams and it would be split up throughout the day um, because I knew I was going to be studying for, you know, 12 plus hours a day. I would do 50, 50, 50 or four times to use 200 milligrams. And that would be, I would try to get them all done by like early afternoon because otherwise I didn't really have an issue going to sleep. Uh, with it at all, but I um, I liked the way I felt a little bit better. Uh, you do not you do not feel like you're jittery or high like you would with Adderall. If you took a, say 60 milligrams of Adderall at once, like you'd probably feel um, that you were high. Whereas you take uh, 200 or 400 milligrams of modafinil or 600 even, you don't feel that at all. You don't, you just don't feel it at all. Maybe your stomach feels weird because it's not used to that, but like you don't notice it at all. You just feel more fucking on point. That's it. Um, so the, uh, so some, so I want to go over some of the benefits. Of, so I, after I stopped taking it, the, my dad just went back to normal and it's been very sporadic, uh, my use of that since then. Um, and I wanted to talk about some of the really interesting uh, benefits of it, like there's the, and I'm going to actually just read it off of here. So there's four different studies on this, uh, that all confirm the benefits from a cognitive standpoint. Uh, cognition is significantly improved in persons undergoing sleep deprivation or other conditions in which attention processing is highly impaired. While other conditions um, experience minor improvements in condition in cognition that are lesser uh, than in the sleep deprivation. So essentially, if you're super sleep deprived, this is super helpful from a cognition standpoint. If you're not super sleep deprived, the data is still out there if it's super beneficial. Um, one of the things that is um, very interesting is the improvement. So there's five studies on this one is it helps with working memory. Working memory is just short-term memory. Um, and when you're studying, like, you know, that's kind of something that's pretty helpful. This was also in people who are sleep deprived, but re normal people who were not sleep deprived and it had a big benefit on it. So um, that was one of the reasons I was taking it and it's backed up by five different research papers. There was another interesting thing in here uh, is just the, uh, here it is, a, using this, and this is backed up by two studies, but it had a very noticeable effect on it. The overall sense of well-being, enjoyment during cognitive blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so just the overall sense of well-being was increased. It's similar to how I talked about in other videos about the MK2866 um, SARM. Um, if you want to learn more about that, check out the channel. But it, you just get an overall just better sense of well-being um, on it. Nothing, nothing like crazy in terms of like you get high or if you get that pre-drunk stage. Nothing like that, or or the when you take Adderall or something along those lines. Um, not anywhere near that. You don't feel jittery. There's not like a crash. It's just like very smooth. You're just on point. That's it. Um, and you just have, and you probably have a, a better sense of well-being just because you're more focused, and you get like sometimes uh, people can feel. I don't have this feeling. I feel like I don't have this feeling, but m maybe my actions are different. But sometimes few people feel that they have a little bit of like a cloudiness or they're just not on point. Um, where this kind of clears that up, and you're able to like just focus a little bit better. But it's not like gonna make you fucking motivated to do your shit. If there's shit you need to get done and you don't want to do it and you don't do it, like, that's it. It's not like a cure-all. You still need to fucking put in the work, period. It's just an aid 
to help you do that, you know? Um, those are some of the big ones that I really wanted to touch on. It, uh, obviously, like attention, um, there's memorable studies investigate short-term memory. Yep, that one we already covered. I I enjoy it. I If I had to pick between Adderall and Modafinil, I would go with Adderall. I like the feeling of Adderall because I can feel that in my body a little bit more. Um, I have experienced both of them and combining them together. Obviously, they were doctor prescribed, of course. Um, but combining them together is what I enjoy. Not, and you don't have to do anything crazy. Like if the if your doctor prescribes 200 milligrams and you have uh, Adderall that's prescribed at 20 milligrams or 40 milligrams per day and you just did half of each or something, but you maybe spread them out or had a meal in between or whatever the case, did the modafinil first thing in the morning and then the Adderall like three hours later or two hours later. Um, that right there is a stack that I like a lot, something along those lines. And, and then with the, from my experience, the Adderall, I can actually do up until like mid to late afternoon without having any issues with sleep. Um, with the modafinil is a little bit of a different story. Um, cause I feel like the effect and, and I didn't mean to make this video a, a comparison to Adderall. It's just that's where my mind goes when I'm thinking about it. But um, completely lost my train of thought. The yeah, the Adderall I can take later into the day. I, I think I've gone as late as like seven o'clock and then gone to bed at like eleven for the Adderall, and that was like phew, I'm not even gonna get into the dosing and what I was doing on these things. But the modafinil, if I, I've gone later into the afternoon, probably four and gone to write that around 11. And that, I think when I did it after four, it was an issue. Um, or I would start with a larger dose in the morning and kind of like pyramid it down throughout the day. So by the time four o'clock came around, I was only taking like 50 milligrams at four o'clock. Anyways, if you guys have any questions or just want to say that you're fucking stupid for doing all this shit, you can let me know down below in the comments or probably be better to reach out to me on Instagram. Um, link is in the description. Also, if you want to check out some of these other compounds, um, check out the uh, channel. Um, and I put videos out on those. And I'm just documenting my journey of getting to 100 bucks a day online and telling you guys what I'm doing. So I also have a series on that. Lastly, um, I'm actually telling you what I do in terms of uh, growing the channel. So I do the money side, which is a series, and then also how I'm growing the channel here on YouTube and exactly what I'm doing to marketing. So if you want to check any of that shit out, go check out the channel. Say what's up down in the description. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.